Good day everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our Maths Easy episode for today, we will be learning the area and circumference of circles. So let's get started. Circumference and area of a circle. In this video, we will learn to find the circumference and area of a circle. But before we head into the different examples in finding the circumference and area of a circle and even its formula, first let's unlock the important terms for this video. The first one is this symbol. This symbol is used for a special number called pi. Pi comes from working with circles. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. This means that you can work out pi by dividing distance around a circle by the length of its diameter. It works for every single circle in the world. The strange thing is that the answer you can get is only be an approximate. That is, you can never have an exact value for pi, which means that in a decimal form, pi is a non-repeating and non-terminating decimal, which has fascinated mathematicians for a very long time. So for this video, we will use either 3.14 as a value of pi or the pi that you see in your scientific calculator. The next term is your circumference. Circumference is the enclosing boundary of a circle or basically the distance around your circle the next term is your area the area is your enclosed or the area or the space inside your circle while the diameter on the other hand is actually a straight line segment that passes through the center of your circle so if this is your center of your circle, let's name it O, center O, your diameter will be a straight line segment that passes through the center of your circle where endpoints lie on your circle. The last term is your radius. Radius is from the center towards a point which lie on the circle. That means that your radius is half of your diameter. Now, what is the formula for circumference? Circumference is pi times its diameter, or we write it as pi d. Or if you are given the radius of your circle, if you're given the radius, since radius is half of your diameter, therefore to find the circumference given the radius will be 2 pi r, or 2 pi radius, or we write it as 2 pi r. The next formula is finding the area of your circle. The area of your circle is pi times square of your radius or we write it as pi r squared. Now let's take for example find the circumference of the following circles. The first example you're given the diameter which is 8 centimeter. Therefore using the formula circumference pi d because the diameter is given we substitute the diameter is 8 centimeter. Therefore, the exact value for this circle's circumference will be 8 pi centimeter or the estimated value which will be 25.13 centimeter. The next example, you're given the radius 3 centimeter. So using the formula circumference 2 pi r Substituting the value of our radius, which is 3 centimeter, 
that will be 2 times 3, 6 pi centimeter. If you wanted to find the exact value, you just need to multiply 6 to your pi, which can be found in your scientific calculator, or 3.14, we will get 18.85 centimeter as an estimated value for its circumference. Now let's find the area of the following circles. The first example, you are given a diameter. Now since the formula for area is pi r squared, therefore we need the half of our diameter. Half of 10 will be 5 centimeter, which would be our radius. So substituting the value, you will have pi times 5 centimeters square. That will be 5 square is 25 pi centimeter square as an exact value or the estimated value would be 78.54 centimeter square. The second example you're given 7 centimeter as your radius. Therefore, area formula pi r squared substituting the value pi the radius is 7 cm squared 7 square is 49 pi centimeter squared. That is your exact value. The estimated value would be 153.94 centimeter squared. Now it's your turn. All right, let's try the first example. You are asked to find the circumference and area. The first example, you're given the diameter, which is nine centimeter. So to find the circumference, it will be circumference pi d. We substitute pi times nine. That will give us an exact value of nine pi centimeter or the estimated value, which is 28.27 centimeter. Now for our area, area is with a formula, area equals pi r squared. Now since we are given diameter nine, we divide this by two, you will get nine divided by two, nine over two. Now we will use nine over two for this matter so that we will get the exact value. So we substitute pi times nine over two square. Our exact value will be 81 over four pi centimeter square, or the estimated value, which is 63.62 centimeter square. The next example you are given the radius of your circle, which is six centimeter. So to find the circumference, it will be two pi r. Substituting the value two pi, the radius, which is six, will give us six times two will be 12 pi centimeter. And the exact value will be 37.70 centimeter. Now for our area, it will be area equals pi r squared, substituting the value pi, radius is six squared. The exact value for this area of a circle will be 36 pi centimeters squared, or the estimated value, which is 113.10 centimeters squared. 
I hope that you have learned something from our episode for today. And for those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy series. Bye!